Hey guys, welcome to week three of my Aloe Moves and Aloe Yoga Challenge. This week the theme is fire, so making your own heat. A lot of times people go to hot yoga classes um, and they feel like they've gotten really warm in their body and you haven't actually, it's just like the external surroundings. So the idea of this is to really start the heating from the inside out and really open you up. Um, heat is also about self-discipline, um, it's about breaking down old habits and transformation, starting a new rebirth. So that's what we're going to be working on today. So let's begin. We'll start in a downward facing dog. Fingers spread nice and wide at the top of your mat. Tucking the toes, lifting the hips. Oh yeah. And just finding that stretch in the calves, taking the dog for a walk if you like. Shifting the weight side to side. Wiggling your bottom from the left to the right. And then when you're ready, finding stillness. Go for five deep breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Three more just like that. Inhale. Last one. Inhale, raise your right leg to the sky, three let you go. Exhale, tiger curl, knee to nose. So draw that knee in all the way, maybe even give it a little smooch. And then push the earth away, broaden up through the shoulders. Push the middle of your back up towards the sky. Bring the knee in a little closer towards you. Inhale, shoot that leg back up, three let you go. Exhale, take right knee to right elbow. Inhale, shoot it back up. Exhale, take it across the body. Hold for the inhale. Exhale, shoot that leg out to the side, fall on triangle. Left hand goes up towards the sky. I like to take that left hand up and over and that way you get a side body stretch the left side body as well. Palm faces down towards the ground. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, draw it back in towards the nose. Hold for the exhale. Inhale, shoot back up. Exhale, bend the knee, open up the hip. Open up into a scorpion. Allow that foot and that ankle just to drag down towards the glute. Maybe do some ankle circles. Try to write the name, try to write your name with your foot if you can. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, back to down dog. Inhale to the left. Exhale, knee to nose, tiger curl. Push the earth away, lift up, rainbow through the upper back. Inhale, back to three, let it go. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Inhale up. Exhale, across the body. Inhale, hold. Exhale, fall in triangle. Come into the blade edge of that left foot. Right wing peels up. Maybe the hand comes up and over. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, bring it back in, knee to nose. Hold for the exhale. Inhale, raise it up. Exhale, open the hip. Some ankle circles. I love any kind of hip opener, especially the fire a sequence like this when you start to build some heat. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bring it back to down facing dog. Inhale, come up onto the toes. Roll all the way forward. Stacking the shoulders above the wrist, high plank. Inhale. Exhale, hold. Inhale, pivot onto the left side of the left foot, stacking the feet on top of each other, finding side plank. So if you'd like to find a variation here, or a gentle practice, you can lower that base leg down. Or if you'd like, you can even lift the top leg up. 
into a star, fallen tree by bringing the toe in towards the inner thigh. That top hand can come up and over. Inhale. Exhale, come back through high plank. Lower the knees, lower the chest and chin. Keep the elbows tight nice and into the ribs. So you can feel free to hold here. If you'd like, you can even go up onto one leg. Or the other leg. And then lowering down onto the belly. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, release. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, lower. Inhale, come up to up dog. Thighs will lift off the ground, rolling the shoulders down the spine, opening up through the heart space. Inhale. Exhale, down and facing dog. One deep breath. Let it go. Inhale, come up into the toes, roll forward, high plank. Hold for the exhale. Inhale as you open up, side plank towards the left hand this side. So same thing, you can find your variation. Dropping the lower knee, coming up to both feet. One leg can lift into a star, can come into fallen tree. That top hand can come up and over. I just love any excuse for a side body stretch. Ooh. Inhale. Exhale, come back through high plank. Lower the knees, lower the chin and the chest. Option again to come up onto one leg. Maybe even bending both knees. Or the other leg. And then coming all the way down onto the belly. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down facing dog. Inhale. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, come up onto the toes, roll forward through high plank, lower the hips down, stay on the tops of the toes into an up dog variation. Exhale, push it back down and facing down. Inhale, come up onto the toes, roll forward, lower the hips. Exhale to down dog. And moving with your own breath a couple times through that movement, creating waves with the body. So if you can really articulate the spine, moving nice and slow, controlled, starting at the toes, rolling all the way forward, lowering the hips down, and lifting the hips, pushing all the way back. Inhale through the nose, Exhale as you open the mouth, stick out the tongue and, and lion draw. Another one just like that. Inhale through the nose. Stick out the tongue, breathe it out. Inhale, come up onto the toes, roll forward, high plank. And exhale, come forward onto the toes, keep the elbows tucked in and lower down for the count of five, four, three, two, not all the way down. Inhale, back up, high plank, lowering down for five, four, three, two. Inhale, back up, exhale, lower, five, four, three. This time we'll go all the way to the ground, two, one. <sighs> Take your right palm out towards the right side of the room. Come up into the left fingertips and roll that left leg up and over. Should feel a nice stretch through the pack on the right hand side. You can relax the head down to the ground. And coming back through centre, swapping sides, left palm comes out down towards the ground. Come up into the right fingertips, and the left leg comes up and over. Back through centre. Inhale through up dog or cobra. 
Exhale to down dog. Inhale, raise your right leg to the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, step up between the hands. See if you can keep the palms flat. Inhale, rise, present lunge. Exhale, lower. Dip the back knee down, cactus in the arms. Inhale, back up. Exhale, lower. This is where we build the fire. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, that's four. Last one. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Come up into the front toe. Go for a couple pulses. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, step the back foot forward into chair pose. Exhale, come up onto the toes, hands sweep back into the divers pose. So you look like one of those, those cement statues that are out in front of like Olympic swimming pools. Inhale, back to chair. Exhale, back to divers. Inhale to chair. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step, jump or float through your vinyasa. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, down or facing dog. Inhale, left leg goes up, three legged dog. Exhale, step between the hands. Inhale, rise, present lunge. Exhale, lower. That's one. Two. Three. Four. Last one. Exhale, worry two. Come up into the front toe and pulse. Five, four, three, two, one. Drop the front heel. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, tilt forward, dive. Just come up into the toes. Inhale, back to chair. Exhale, back to divers. Inhale to chair. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands. Step jump or float through your vinyasa. Inhale, roll the shoulders down the spine. Open up the heart. Exhale, down the face. And let's float. Inhale, right leg goes up. Exhale, step up between the hands. Move with control. Inhale, rise. Exhale. One. Two. Three. Four, last one. Exhale, worry two, come up onto the toe, pulse. Five, four, three, two, one. Drop the front heel, inhale the chair. Exhale, tilt forward, dive this pose. Inhale back. Exhale forward. Inhale to chair. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, through vinyasa. Up dog or cobra, inhale. Exhale, down or facing dog. Left leg rises, three legged dog. Exhale, step up between the hands. Inhale, rise. Exhale, lower. One. Two, three, four, last one. Worry two pulses. Five, four, three, two, one. Chair pose, inhale. 
Exhale, dive it. Inhale, just check. Exhale, the dive. So you should be really feeling that burn by now. Building up the heat. Inhale up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Through your vinyasa. Deep breath in. Let it go. Inhale, raise your right leg to the sky, three-legged up. Exhale, step up between the hands. Inhale, rise to crescent. Exhale, tip forward to arrowhead. So your body is like an extension of that back leg. Palms face down. Bum draw out and up to give you that shoulder opening. Inhale, step forward to stalk. So we bounce them on your right leg. The left knee will come in towards your chest. Arms sweep up to the sky. Inhale. Exhale back to arrow. Inhale back to stalk. Exhale back to arrow. Inhale forward, warrior three. Hands come forward, dorsiflex the back toe. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, flip the front palm, reverse the warrior. I like to come up into that front toe, completely up to you though. Exhale, through vinyasa. Option for one-legged chaturanga, vinyasa, or coming back through three-legged down dog first, and then bending the knee in towards the head as you lower, finding a scope in vinyasa. Inhale. Exhale. Go for the left side. Inhale, raise it up to the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, step up between the hands. Inhale, rise, crescent lunge. Exhale, arrowhead, tilt forward. Roll the thumbs out towards the sky. Shoulders back and down the spine. Straighten through that back leg. Chest tilts forward. Inhale, the stalk. Right knee comes into the chest. Exhale, back to arrow. Inhale, back to stalk. Exhale, back to arrow. Inhale, warrior three, hands come forward. Back leg lifts up. Hold for the exhale. Inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, flip, reverse. Exhale, vinyasa. Option again for that scorpion. Lifting the left foot up and back into three-legged up first, and then bending that back knee. The foot comes in towards the head as you lower. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, down dog. Inhale, bend the knees, look forward, step, jump, or float, top edge of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Come up onto the toes, turn the toes slightly out and the heels into touch and draw the knees apart. So you'll come down into a squat, kind of like this. Doesn't have to look exactly like this, anything that's comfortable. Hands can stay on the ground if you open up the heart. Come onto a block and if you like to, you can open up the knees. Inhale. Exhale. From here, option to come into Malasana. Pop the feet out, toes out, heels in, hips down towards the earth, elbows towards the knees, pushing out sideways to create some space for the chest and heart opening. You can come into crow or side crow if you'd like. So side crow, feet will come together in the middle of the mat, turn to face over one side of your leg. So let's say go to the right leg first. Both hands come to the right and face away from your toes. So if your toes are going one way, your hands are going 90 degrees the other way. And then you're just going to begin to tilt in. So you really want to use that elbow against the leg. Tilt forward. So you might just go here. 
You might begin to maybe lift a leg or maybe both. You can come to this parameter in a little squat. You begin to straighten out one leg or maybe straighten out both. I've got moisturizer on my legs, it's really slippery. <laughs> I hope you're not the same. Couple of breaths in your side curl if you're there or any variation that you took. And then finding your way back through center. Taking a breath. Oh. I always forget to breathe in our balances. I know that's bad, but it's true. I'm sure I'm not alone. And then we'll find the other side. So if you came in the side row, taking the opposite side, hands go 90 degrees away from the feet towards the left or the right this time, whatever way you didn't do. And then again, just tilting into the arms. Fingers spread nice and wide. That's where all your balance is. So really spread them wide. Take up more breath, and that way your center of gravity is more like evenly spread. Start to tilt forward. Maybe lift up into a tap. Straighten one leg, the other leg, both legs if you don't have moisturizer on your legs. And then back through center. <sighs> well done. Finding your way onto your back. Let's go for a cruise, hey? We've been doing all this internal fire. It's probably time that we go for a little ocean dip. By that, I mean we're going on a boat ride. Coming to half boat. If you can, sitting up as, as high on the sit bones as you can, rather than allowing your lower spine to curl like this, see if you can extend and open up the heart space. Inhale. Exhale, lower down the low boat, keeping the lower back on the ground. Inhale, half boat. Exhale, low boat. Inhale up, that's two. Three. Four. Five, six, we're going for ten, seven, eight, hard to talk when you do this, nine, last one, come all the way onto your back, take the feet out wide, spread the knees side to side. And then bring the hands behind the head as if you're going to do crunches, so everyone knows what that is. And then you're going to take your right elbow to your left knee. And you really want to focus on keeping the lower back on the ground. And then back down. Keep the lower back on the ground. To the opposite side, left elbow, right knee. And then we're just going to go for that. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 13, 12, 11, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower down, take a breath. Exhale. One more breath. Let it go. Round of bicycle kicks if you're up for it. So the same kind of thing, but this time the legs will go straight. The opposite leg will go straight. So hands behind the head, and then you'll take left elbow to right knee as the left leg extends. And then swap it over. 30, 9, 7, 5, 3, 2, 1. All the way to your back. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath in. Let it go. Take the palms face down by your hips. Draw the knees into the chest. Slight lift up of the pelvis. And then either drop the, the feet down towards the ground, up onto your toes, or all the way up towards the ground, keeping the lower back on the ground. Inhale up, exhale, extend. Seven, six, Two, last one. 
<sighs> Grab the outside edges of your feet, allow the knees to draw into your underarms, and then push the feet up to the sky and the, the, pull the hands down towards the ground. Happy baby. Maybe gently roll side to side. Hug the knees into the chest. Roll side to side again and massage the lower back a little bit more. Bring the knees in towards the, towards the forehead, hands on the sacrum. Option to stay here, extend up if you like into shoulder stand or draw the feet up and above you towards the ground into plow pose. Personally, I love plow. I absolutely love it. I can't even explain why. It's such a weird, a random pose. Coming back onto your back, we'll go for supine pigeon. Take your right leg up towards the sky and then take the outside edge of that right foot across the top of that left knee. Draw the right knee out towards the side and then interlace the hands underneath that left knee and draw it in towards you. Oh yeah. Hip stretches are so good. So you kind of choose here how deep you want to feel this. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath. Release and swap sides. Left foot goes up. Take the outside edge of the left foot on top of the right knee. Left leg goes out. Left knee goes out and then interlace the hands underneath the right knee. Draw it in towards your chest. part of your bottom, pull it out from underneath you, or you can sit on a block if you like, just to give your pelvic tilt. Inhale, raise the arms towards the sky. Exhale, forward fold. So your hands can come to, to your thighs, they can come to your shins, or if you'd like, you can rest your head on a block or use a bolster, anything that's going to give you some kind of, some kind of support here. You don't necessarily have to open up your chest here, you can take a more, a, a more yin style, um, curve through the spine if you'd like. But before we do that, we'll inhale and open up the chest. Exhale, then curl around, fold. Inhale back through center. Finding your way onto your back. Any other movements that you'd like, maybe a quick supine twist, taking one knee across the body. And then the other knee. Oh yeah, so you crack and pop. And then finding your Shavasana, palms face up, feet flail out, draw the shoulder blades together across the top of your back, and then just melt into the earth. Find a neutral breath. If you'd like to stay in Shavasana, pause the video here and stay there for five or 10 minutes. And then when you're ready, Bringing some awareness back into the body, wiggling the fingers and the toes, shaking the head gently side to side, and then stretching out all the way from the top of the mat to the tips of your toes. Draw one knee in and then the other, and roll onto your favourite side. Taking a moment to look within. When you're in a little ball like this, you're almost like a seedling. So take that time to plant, plant the seeds of growth that you want to see in your life. Visualize the things that you want to manifest and create. And then solidify those things by also visualizing how you're going to do them. And visualize yourself doing them successfully and with ease. Keeping the eyes closed, finding your way into a comfortable seat. Hands at heart center. Take your thumbs to your third eye. 
a massage in between the eyebrows. May you have thoughts of wisdom and clarity. Take your thumbs to your lips. May you speak words of kindness and compassion. And take your hands to your heart. May you feel and give the love that you truly do deserve. Together we say, Namaste.